Okay, guys, uh, it's MBZ here, and I have a roulette for you. Um, and this one is against Snail from YouTube. Um, now, this guy's a really great battler, um, and I've been wanting to play him for a while. So, we decided to have a roulette just for uh, a bit of fun. Um, and as you can see, I my camera actually cut out um, because the battery died halfway through. So, he recorded it, thankfully. Um, and so, he just gave me the video file. So, I'm going to be narrating it from the other end, which may look a bit strange but um should be all right um so yeah here we go this is against snail he's a really good battler i'll post his um channel in the description box so go and subscribe to him and all that stuff so i lead off with uh, ttfaf which is a, in fact a counter sash gengar and i see shaman and i know there's not a whole lot i can do to it so i decide to go up to drapion which is a special wall this drapion is like a deoxys speed counter um and it's that's what it's built for it's built for the ou meta game and it's like a rest talker. So he brings out Vaporeon. That's fine for me. I can stay in. So he gets out Steelix and I crunch it and it does basically nothing. Um, now I know I can't do anything to him and I know he's going to set up Stealth Rock and I don't want my Sash to be ruined on Gengar. So I decide to bring Gengar back in um, and just, you know, make sure my Sash isn't gone. So I sort of, I, I press counter and then I just realized wait a second, he's not going to stay in because he's going to think I'm going to focus blast. So I used counter, but it fails, which was, yeah, it, it was pretty annoying, but, you know, I, w I wasn't paying that much attention to this battle. I, we had voice chat on as well, so I, I could have played better, but, you know, it was good fun anyway. Um, I HP, which is, in fact, HP water because this thing is messed up and I gave it HP water because I'm weird. Um... It was supposed to get ice, but it didn't happen. So he takes me down with a thunderbolt, gets a crit, completely useless because of my sash. And I hit him with another hidden power, um, and it does basically nothing. So, you know, there's not much I can do now, and I just let him kill me. And to be honest, I probably should have kept Gengar a death fodder, as you'll see why later, um, because it could have been really useful. Now, I bring out Choice Band Hitmonlee, which is just absolute win. It's just so awesome. It's one of the... One of the best you use, I think, out there. It's it's, it's so good, um, and I really like using it. So I go for the Mac Punch to finish off his Jolteon, but he switches out, which is kind of annoying. But when I see how much it is to Vaporeon, it's pretty awesome, because it does quite a hell of a lot. I switch out to Drapion to take the Surf, seeing this Drapion is specially oriented. Um, and his Vaporeon does basically nothing to me, so, you know, that's cool. Um, he goes out to his Steelix, and I rest up, because I can just sleep talk, whatever, and do all that stuff. So I stay in to sleep talk, because I'm just a retard, and I forget that he carries Earthquake and Drapion's poison, so I just get raped by an Earthquake, which was kind of gay. Um, and I really just should have switched out to Suicune just then, instead, instead of just taking that hit. Because Armhead would have been a hell of a mo lot more useful to me later if I hadn't taken that hit. So he EQs Suicune, and it doesn't do a great deal because Suicune's a freaking beast. Um, and I decide to Calm Mind because I'm not sure what he's going to do. I was sort of fearing Raw, but then he just exploded in my face. And I live it with 7 HP. So that was pretty sweet, but, you know, now I can't do much, and Jolteon's going to take me out. Now, the reason I should have kept Gengar was to switch him in there, just to get the death fodder from the explosion but you know I wasn't really predicting it anyway so you know not much I could do um, I bring in speed demon ninjask because there's not much else which I have and this thing outspeeds Jolteon which is cool so you know I couldn't I wouldn't I wasn't gonna like sub up and stuff like that because he would just be gaining more HP from lefties anyway so you know not much I could do now I over predict here and think that he's going to go to Vaporeon again or go to something else to take the Mac Punch. So I use Close Combat, but you know, it doesn't really work that way. He Thunderbolts me, but because Hitmonlee has absolutely beastly special defense it doesn't hurt him. And also I wasn't afraid of the Power, of ha power Hacks because Hitmonlee actually has Limbo, which means it can't be paralyzed, which is pretty awesome. So I just go to Drapion for Death Fodder because I, I think Hitmonlee is going to be pretty helpful to me later on. Uh, he's going to be helpful now, in fact, uh, because I'm going to try and Mac Punch this thing. And Choice Band Mac Punch, you know, I wasn't sure, and it doesn't KO, so, you know, not much I could do there. 
Um, and so he's got a life orb as well. I bring out Don John, the cursing Hippowdon at the end. Um, and he is obviously like scarfed or something. So he goes for the flare blitz. Um, and I go for a curse because I sort of think I can take quite it, it quite well, but I can't take it that well because he actually had Blaze activated, which was, you know, when when that happens, Infernape can pretty much rape anything with a fire move. Um, so in comes Shaman for the end of the game and Seed Flare's my hippo. So there we go. That was a good game, a good fun uh, roulette we had there, and I'm glad I got to battle his nail. That was really good. Um, so yeah, it was it was a good roulette, and I hope next time I can play with the real team. I know you're trying to sort one out right now. I'm trying to sort one out as well. So yeah, um, comment, rate, subscribe, guys, and that is me out.